Aloha and welcome to our Lenten liturgy this morning, prepared by Tim and Uncle. We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty and ever-living God, you invite us deeper into your world, your people, your land. May this time be one of outward focus, seeking you and those we often ignore. Help us to live Lent focused on freedom, generosity and encounter. Give us hearts hungry to serve you and those who need what we have to give. Amen. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus was led up by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was famished. The devil came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, one does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Again it is written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. The devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, All these I will give you, and if you will fall down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him, and suddenly angels came and waited on him. The Gospel of the Lord. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Patrick and Michael our Bishops, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons. For our government, for the leaders of the nations, and for all in authority, that they would govern wisely and justly. For the conversion of our hearts and minds during this Lenten season, that we would strive to imitate our Lord. Fa 
For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and the unemployed, for those suffering from depression or addiction, and for all those in any kind of danger. For our own needs and promises that we now record in our hearts. We do Lenten practices not to make our lives more difficult, but to turn our minds and hearts towards what is essential. The small sacrifices of Lent draw us first towards ourselves and our discomfort, but then redirect our attention and prayer toward the passion and suffering of our Lord and also our brothers and sisters. Only by sharing in the suffering of the Lord can we have a share in the glory of His resurrection. Savior, I come, quiet my soul. Remember, redemption's here, where your blood was spilled.
God, this land, then let me focus on something and giving up. Let me focus on someone who gave it all up for me. Renew my mind and draw me closer to you. Prepare my heart for Easter. We end with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah.